Are you struggling with slow Windows performance? In this video, I'll show you how to optimize Windows for maximum speed and performance using Pro Level settings. These tweaks will help you get the best out of your system. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more useful tech tips. Now let's get started. Jira Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games. Using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. Step 1. Create a restore point on your PC. A restore point is essentially a snapshot of your system allowing you to revert to a previous working state if anything goes wrong in the future. It preserves your system files registry settings and installed programs without touching your personal files. To create a restore point, open the Windows search bar type, create a restore point and press enter. In the window that appears select local disk, C, and click the create button. Name the restore point, Windows optimizations, and press enter. Now you have a safety backup providing peace of mind as you make changes or optimizations to your system. Step 2. Fix corrupted Windows files. In the next step, we are going to fix corrupted Windows files. Begin by opening the Windows search bar and typing command prompt. When it appears right click on it and choose run as administrator for full access. Once the command prompt is open type SFC R scano and press enter. This will initiate a scan to detect and repair any corrupted system files. Step 3. Execute the registry tweak for RAM optimization. Now in the next step, open the RAM optimizations folder and execute the registry tweak that matches your PC specifications. You can download this file from my official website. The link is provided in the description below. This will help optimize your system's memory settings, improving overall performance. Be sure to choose the correct tweak for your system to ensure the best results. Step 4. Run batch files for optimization. In this step, open the batch optimizations folder and run all the batch files as administrator. You can download the folder from my official website and the link is provided in the description below. These batch files will apply various system optimizations to enhance your Windows performance. Step 5. Optimize Windows with Ultimate Windows Tweaker. In the next step, open the Windows Ultimate Tweaker folder and run the Ultimate Windows Tweaker tool. You can download this file from my official website with the link provided in the description below. Once opened, navigate to Performance Settings and set the three settings to a minimum of 1000. Then uncheck Auto End Non-Responsive Programs and Restart Shell automatically after some error. Next, enable Disable Automatic Folder View Discovery, turn off Search Indexer, disable Smooth Scrolling and disable Edge Tab Preloading. After that, go to Windows Time Services and uncheck it. Finally, checkmark all the available options one by one to apply the necessary optimizations for improved system performance. Next, navigate to the security and privacy settings and uncheck all the available options one by one. However, make sure to checkmark disable OneDrive. Then move to the privacy tab and checkmark all the options one by one as shown. Finally, uncheck only the following options. Disable Windows Update Sharing. Disable Password Reveal button. Disable Sync of All Settings and Disable App Access to Microphone. These adjustments will enhance your system's security and privacy while maintaining essential functionalities. Next, go to Additional Settings and navigate to Network Tweaks. Here, checkmark the option Enable Network Adapter Onboard Processor to optimize network performance and enhance system efficiency. Finally, click on the Apply Tweaks button to implement all the optimizations on your PC. This will ensure that the changes take effect, enhancing your system's performance security and network efficiency. Step 6. Install and optimize your PC with CCleaner. In this step, open the CCleaner folder and install CCleaner on your PC. You can download the file from my official website with the link provided in the description below. Once installed, launch CCleaner and navigate to Custom Clean Settings, then click on Run Cleaner to remove all junk data from your PC. Next, go to Performance Optimizer and click the Scan button to detect applications that are not in sleep mode. After the scan, review the results and move any unnecessary applications into sleep mode by clicking the Sleep button. Then go to Tool Settings, Open Registry Settings and checkmark Select All to choose all available registry files. Click Scan for issues to detect and fix registry problems on your system. These optimizations will enhance your PC's speed storage efficiency and overall performance. 
Hey guys now I'm going to recommend you Gear Up Booster, which you can grab for free using the link in the description. Just launch the tool, select Fortnite, and it will automatically connect you to the most optimal server for the lowest possible ping. As an example, I've managed to reduce my latency by 11 milliseconds, which has improved my overall performance by more than 100%. I've been using this for all the games I play on my PC, so be sure to check it out using the link in the description. Step 7. Optimize power settings with Park Control. In this step, open the Park Control folder and install the .exe file. You can download this tool from my official website with the link provided in the description below. Once installed, launch Park Control and you will see its interface. First, set the profile from balance to bid some high performance, which optimizes system processes and prioritizes critical tasks, improving speed and responsiveness for demanding applications. Next, disable parking AC, parking DC, frac scaling AC and frac scaling DC. Then set all core usage to 100% for maximum performance. After that, check mark Bitsum Dynamic Boost enabled. Set the profile to Bitsum Highest Performance and adjust the time before PC is considered idle to 300 seconds. Finally, click Apply, then hit OK to save the changes. These tweaks will enhance your system's power efficiency, ensuring optimal performance for resource intensive tasks. Step 8 Optimize system performance by adjusting power settings. In the next step, we will optimize your system performance by adjusting the power settings. Start by opening Windows settings, navigating to system settings and selecting power and sleep. Click on additional power settings to open the power options window, then choose the bit some highest performance plan, which is specifically designed to boost performance, making it ideal for low end PCs and gaming. Next, click on Change Plan Settings followed by Change Advanced Power Settings. In the Advanced Settings window, expand PCI Express and set Link State Power Management to Off. Then go to Processor Power Management and set both Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State to 100%. Additionally, locate System Cooling Policy and set it to Active to ensure efficient cooling, optimizing your system for better performance. Step 9. Disable High Precision Event Timer to disable High Precision Event Timer HPET, and improve system performance, right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. Once in Device Manager, scroll down and find System Devices. Locate High Precision Event Timer, right-click on it and select Disable Device. This tweak helps reduce system latency and can enhance responsiveness especially for gaming and real-time applications. Step 10. Optimize storage system and performance settings. To further enhance your system's performance, open Windows settings and navigate to system settings. Go to storage settings and enable storage sense which automatically frees up space by removing unnecessary files such as temporary files. Once enabled access, temporary files check all available options for file removal and click remove to delete junk files from your PC. Next return to system settings, go to shared experiences and disable it as it is not essential. Then navigate to remote desktop and ensure it is turned off as it is unnecessary and can be safely disabled. Now go to the About section in System Settings, scroll down to Advanced System Settings and under the Performance section, click Settings. In the Visual Effects tab, select Adjust for Best Performance to optimize system responsiveness. After that, enable the following options, show thumbnails instead of icons, show shadows under windows and smooth edges of screen fonts. Then switch to the Advanced tab and ensure Programs is selected under Adjust for Best Performance. Once configured, click Apply and OK to save the changes. Next, navigate to Windows Settings, Gaming and turn off the Xbox Game Bar to reduce background processes freeing up CPU and RAM for other tasks. Then go to Game Mode and ensure it is turned on to optimize system performance by prioritizing gaming processes and minimizing background tasks for smoother gameplay. Return to the Home menu, go to Privacy Settings and turn off all options under the General category to improve privacy and reduce unnecessary background activity. Scroll down to Background Apps, click on it and disable all background applications to free up system resources like CPU and RAM, improving overall system performance. In the next step, we will uninstall all unnecessary applications. To do this, open the Windows search bar and type Apps and Features, then press Enter. Once you're in the Apps and Features section, select the application you want to remove and click Uninstall to remove any unwanted or unnecessary apps. Next, return to the Home menu and navigate to Update and Security. From there, go to Delivery Optimization and ensure that it is disabled. Once done, close the window. 
Next open the window search bar type core isolation and press enter. Once you're in the core isolation settings, make sure to disable it to enhance windows performance. Finally open task manager by right clicking on the task bar and selecting task manager. Navigate to the startup tab where you will see a list of startup applications. Disable all unnecessary startup applications to prevent them from running during system boot improving startup time and reducing resource usage. Step 11. Optimize processor cores for better performance. To optimize system performance press Windows key plus R to open the run dialog box type MS config and press enter. In the system configuration window, navigate to the boot tab and click on it. Next select advanced options, check the box for number of processors and choose the highest available core count. Click OK then apply and again OK. A pop-up will appear asking if you want to restart your PC select exit without restart to apply the changes later. Enabling all available processor cores can enhance system performance by optimizing CPU resource usage leading to faster boot times and better multitasking efficiency. However, the impact may vary depending on system configuration and workload. Step 12. Disable power throttling for improved performance. In the next step, we will disable power throttling to enhance system performance. Press Windows plus R type gpedit.msc and press enter to open the local group policy editor. Navigate to computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management, power throttling settings. Double click on it, select enable to turn off power throttling, then click apply and OK to save the changes. Step 13. Clean up junk files to free up storage. In this step, we will remove junk files to free up valuable storage space on your PC. Open the Windows search bar, type disk cleanup and press enter. Select the drive where Windows is installed then click OK. Once the options appear, check all available boxes to select the files for cleanup. Finally press OK and click the delete files button to remove unnecessary data and free up storage. Step 14. Clear temporary files for better performance. To enhance system performance and free up storage space begin by pressing Windows key plus R typing temp and pressing enter. Delete all the files in this folder. These are not important and removing them will help improve performance, reduce lag and provide smoother gameplay or general use. Regular cleaning of these temporary files prevents system slowdowns and ensures optimal performance over time. Next press Windows key plus R again type percent %10% and press enter. Delete all the junk data in this folder as well. This action helps free up system resources like CPU and RAM, preventing stuttering or frame drops and providing smoother gameplay and consistent FPS during gaming sessions. Finally press Windows key plus R once more type prefetch and hit enter. Delete all the files in this folder as they are unnecessary and can be safely removed. A clean well-optimized PC can handle longer gaming sessions without slowing down, reducing the need for frequent restarts or system maintenance. Step 15. Optimize network performance. In this step, I am going to show you how to optimize your network settings using Device Manager. Start by searching for Device Manager in the Windows search bar and opening it. Look for the Network Adapter section and click the arrow next to it to expand the list. Find your internet adapter in the list, right click on it and select Update Driver. Right click on your internet adapter again and select Properties. In the Properties window, go to the Power Management tab and ensure all the boxes are unticked. This step prevents your internet connection from being limited. Next, go to the Advanced tab, find the Speed and Duplex setting and set it to the highest option available. If you lose your internet connection after this change, return to Auto Negotiation. Once these changes are made, click OK and close the windows. These adjustments help ensure your network connection is stable and performing at its best. Step 16. Configuring the MSI mode utility to optimize CPU. To make your GPU graphics processing unit work better and process tasks more efficiently, you can use the MSI mode utility. This tool switches your GPU to message signal interrupts MSI mode, which improves how it communicates with the rest of your system. First run the MSI mode utility as an administrator to give it permission to make changes to your hardware settings. You can download this file from my official website, the link is provided in the description below. Once the tool is open, look for your GPU in the list. If you are using an NVIDIA GeForce RTX AMD Radeon or Intel Integrated Graphics, find the name of your GPU in the tools interface. Next check the box labeled MSI next to your GPU to turn on message signaled interrupts. 
After enabling MSI, find the option called Interrupt Priority and change it to High from the drop-down menu. If your computer also has integrated graphics such as Intel UHD graphics, repeat the same steps for it. Once you have made these changes, click Apply to save them, then close the utility. Enabling MSI mode and setting a high priority for your GPU will make graphics run more smoothly, helping to reduce stuttering and improve gaming performance. And that's it for today's video. By following all these steps, you've successfully optimized your system for better performance, responsiveness, and efficiency. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful tips and guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.